Good morning. Today's Mass is offered for this parish community. Kindly join in the entrance antiphon. It may be found on page 848 of the Missals. O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, God. We gather this morning to celebrate the Lord, to ask God for grace, and also to pray for world peace. We remember in a special way Victims of Orlando shooting, asking God to extend his healing upon the community and all people involved. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred ministry. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted. Otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him 
and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over the word of the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show them in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them with your, within your obo- abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let all who take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word. And my Father will love him and we will come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. I read him from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people might see you. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they've received their reward, but when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your alms giving might be secret, and your heavenly Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, Do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others might see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect the appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they've received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head with oil and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your Father 
who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord.
that our relationship with God today may center on faith and do it that we may receive the reward at the end of the world. For the prophetic church, the voice of Christ in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For honest leaders who attend to the good of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For hopeful families who raise children in difficult circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who make peace with quiet patience and cheerful persistence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here who seek holiness in everyday life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we add our own intentions. Divine Master, help us to see graciously your will in our lives, even when it becomes difficult. Help us to navigate our challenges and may your grace lead us on till we find you in eternity. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for joy and goodness have received bread we all find the fruit of the earth and water of human hands, which we thank for us as the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for we have goodness and received the wine we all find, the fruit of wine and the work of human hands, and to become our spiritual drink. Thank you. 
all of you and eight of you. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a city that we were stuck, I was ended. He threw the chalice, was not giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Thank you. 
The entrance antiphon may be found, the communion antiphon may be found on page 848. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring the power to unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we see.